This video demonstrates how to scan PHP source code with WinTranslator to extract design information that we can import into WinAD to create a set of UML style class diagrams and structure charts. And we're going to uh, be processing uh, this nested folder of uh, PHP files with all the source code. So we're going to launch Win Translator, and then we'll start a new project here where we'll put our project file into that folder along with our source code. So if we navigate to Documents, Win Translator, and PHP. That's a good place to put our project file that we're going to construct here. We're going to locate our code folder, so we'll add this tree of folders starting at the top here. So all these nested folders and, and PHP files within that will be processed. And we're going to choose PHP code to structure chart and class model. And it's going to be scanning all the files with these file extensions. And then it's going to uh, extract the information. So we'll select that. And we'll click the button to get started here. It's going to take a little bit to process. And when it's completed, we have a little uh, summary of the results with further instructions on what to do with those files. We've launched WinAD to use the information produced with WinTranslator, so we're going to start a new project. Let's just call that PHP, and we'll navigate to the folder here for our PHP code, and that's where we'll put our uh, generated documents for this project. And we're going to select the language PHP and create a dictionary document, a class model document, and a structure chart document. Let's go ahead and generate our documents. And now we can open up those project documents. So we have our different types of documents here. Let's start by importing our dictionary information. So we'll do that by choosing Import Dictionary import from disk and we're going to navigate to a file called dictionary.list which is going to import the various dictionary.rp files that were created as we processed our code. So we'll select that, wait a moment, and we now have a populated data dictionary. So now let's produce a class model from our dictionary information. So we'll do that into the class document by choosing Report, Generate, Class Model from Dictionary. It presents this dialog, and we can select the diagram that we're going to generate into. And since we don't have too many classes, we're going to put them all on the same diagram by just selecting them all and clicking the OK button. We'll take a moment, and we should have a class document here where we have a bunch of boxes naming each object class and in addition to the name of the class we have its attributes and its operations and relationship lines between the various classes in the class structure. So PHP code tends to be event-driven, so what we're going to do now, we're going to create a separate structure chart for each thread of execution in this uh, pool of PHP code. And we'll do that from the design uh, document by importing a child list, and we don't know what the root module name is going to be at the top of each these event-driven threads of execution. So we're going to prompt for root module names in the process. We're going to import this information from disk, and we'll click OK. It's going to prompt us for our 
child list. Well, we, we can have a number of different childlist.rp files that were uh, constructed when WinTranslator processed our PHP source code, and we have kind of a main file called childlist.list that actually uh, can go, uh, ha list out all the individual.rp files. So we're just going to bring that in and process them all in one go. And when we do that, the first step is since we set the checkbox to prompt us for the name of our root modules, uh, it identified all these different root modules uh, as the potential top of a tree of uh, function calls. And let's just go ahead and select them all. Click OK. It'll take a moment. And at the end of the process, we should have a set of diagrams. So let's go through and we can click the various diagrams that were constructed and in each one we can see uh, it starts at the top with the main routine of that little thread of execution and a, and a handful of functions that it calls to implement that thread of execution with different PHP functions. And some of them are uh, a, little, a little larger uh, progr program structures and other ones are very, very small. If we were to want to look at the actual source code of an individual function, we can just select the function and click the code button. And that will actually bring up a browser window and take us right to the source code of that function. And the way that works is associated with each of these dictionary entries, or each of these uh, these modules, we have an associated dictionary entry, and the dictionary entry actually has a link to the associated code file. And also, as Win Translator was scanning these code files, there was an option to insert these code keys so that it can, it can navigate the spot within the file for that particular function. And so that's how that relationship works. When you click on the, when you select a, a module and click the code button, what it's actually doing is, is navigate, it's looking up that dictionary entry. And for that dictionary entry, it looks for a, a browse reference, which gives the name of the file to open. And then it searches for a code key based on the actual name of the entry and then is able to navigate uh, directly, open that file and scroll down to that specific spot where the code exists for the selected module. 